your boy Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back, like I never left, um, look, I'm not gonna try to sadden this video up, this whole video up and not at all, but, um, Cowboys community took a loss today, man, we lost one of, who I consider one of the Cowboy greats, I know he wasn't, um, you know, like a ring of honor great, but, yeah, during my... My years of being a Cowboys fan, he is one of my favorites, you know. You know, may not have the longest stint with the Cowboys, but one of my favorites, man. Marion the Barbarian, Marion Barber, um, passed today, man. Um, I didn't get dig into the details. They just said he was found in his apartment and they gone. And, you know, Marion was, you know, in the years of the Cowboys, you know, the, the years, two th the 2000 years was still close enough to where, you know, it was within 10 years of the chip to where you still, you know, this whole 20 year thing wasn't a thing yet, you know. So things a little bit different. And Marion was on them teams where we just wish we would have broke through and did more, but we didn't. But Marion gave it all his all, man. If any player on the Cowboys right now can do anything, go back and watch the Marion Barbarian tape. You know, he had the greatest two-yard run, I think, in history. You know, <laughs> he just wouldn't go down, man. Marion Barber reminded me of like a like a poor man's Walter Payton, the way he just wouldn't go down. Just wouldn't. And if you know Walter Payton and you know how he would break tackles, Marion the Barbarian, and I know, don't don't say it's sacrilegious to, to compare the two. He just wouldn't go down for nothing, man. He would fight for every yard. Every, that, that the heart of a lion, man. And it's crazy that he's gone. Um, like I said, I don't know the details. Um, but it's just a sad day for the Cowboys Nation. So I just wanted to, you know, pay my respects, man. Rest in peace. Um, prayers to his family and his friends. And we can get to on to um, a little bit more happier news, man. Let's talk post-June 1st money. Yes. Cowboys came up today in the money department. I think we got close to $24 million. I think we had like tw uh, 13 or something like that. Post June 1st, I think we got 23 something something million. Y'all can put the specifics in the comments if y'all know it. And I got a question for you. Small question. Is Stephen Jones going to use it on anybody? <laughs> like seriously. I want to know. Pardon, pardon my daughter. Y'all can hear her running around. Y'all can probably see her chair in the background. But, um, yeah, man, is Stephen Jones going to use that money on anything? I hate to just put it on him, but no one else is calling the shots. You know, I'll do my best to dig deep and see who we could bring in. You know what I'm saying? But right now, two names come to mind. Well, three. You know, I was on a shout out to um, Law Nation. I was on his channel last night doing a little bit of live. And we were talking about possible post-June 1st acquiring, you know, free agents. And like I said, I'll talk about this further as more things happen. You know, people won't get cut. Certain people won't become available. And you start thinking, who would you want to add to this team? Like who? You know, Deion Jones pops up the top of mind. I would not mind bringing Deion Jones on this team. I know you say, but we got Micah and stuff like that. I want to keep Micah free, you know. This ain't a slight to Leighton Vander Esch. This is just... I want this team to be as best as possible. So, yeah, if, if Deion Jones became available, a post-June 1st cut, and he's getting most of his salary paid by the Falcons, he might be willing to take a lesser deal, come come ball with the Cowboys, reunite with Dan Quinn. Everybody else is doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I've already mentioned Anthony Barr plenty of times. Would love to bring him on if the Cowboys would consider it. You know, then you think about the trenches and how much I got love for Oso Diggy Zoo. I've talked about that. You know, I um, I want Neville Gallimore to take the next step. I think he will. You know, I want Tristan Hill, if he makes the team, to do better. I want Ridgeway to come on strong and everything like that. But last year when we brought in Brent Urban, shout out to Brent Urban, he a Raven now. But he was really big for our team earlier in the year before he got hurt. You know, and I wouldn't mind bringing in Akeem Hicks. And then Dominick Sue, a veteran D-tackle. 
You know what I'm saying? That knows the tricks of the trade that, that really gets busy still. Dominican Sue ain't that washed. Maybe Sheldon Richardson. Like somebody, a veteran D tackle to put in that room, to rotate in. I wouldn't mind it at all, man. I wouldn't because we got young dogs in there. I wouldn't mind putting a little veteran in there in the, in the mix. D tackle mix, rather. Um, maybe even a T.Y. Hilton. You know, and that's not a slight to Tolbert or nobody. It's just veterans sprinkled around the team could be good for the team, man. I really, really feel like, you know, you bring in the right people, they can just help out with, it's like a player coach. You know what I'm saying? Like a player coach. And those are some of the players I could see us maybe taking a flyer on in the coming weeks. Maybe. We got the money. Hopefully, we're not going to just keep it and, and let it roll over. I would hope that we'd add one or two pieces to this team, veteran pieces, obviously, and we can roll from there. But, hey, you know, it's hard to get excited right now because I am kind of saddened with the Marion Barbarian news, man. Like, I really liked him. You know, he's one of the players I rooted for. You always had those players that just spoke to you, that you rock with on the team, whether they're here for a short time or a long time. They might not be superstars, but you're just like, nah. When he was on the squad, it was some good years. That's how I feel about um, Marion Barber. So, a bit of a somber mood, but a bit of a somber mood. But um, you know, I just wanted to come in here and try my best to to give y'all something. You know, I wanted to talk about the post June first money anyway. That's what I was going to do anyway. But then right before I started to record, I saw the news of Marion Barbarian, and you know, it just I don't want to talk about OTAs right now. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll talk about that a little bit more in depth. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feeling about um, if there's... I couldn't even find really no OTA news because I don't think today's the media availability day. I think that's tomorrow. Um, if y'all if y'all heard anything, y'all let me know in the comments. But I just want to talk about the money and if y'all think that Stephen Jones will do anything with it and pay my respects to Marion Barber. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all, man. Y'all stay safe. Stay blessed. Peace.